Right, oh, blimey, we've got a fucking bird's eye view going on here. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome back to Banished. Um, are we paused at the moment? Is the game running? We are. The game is running. No, it's not. It's paused. Hang on, wait. Are you standing still as a statue or is the game paused? The game's paused. Boop. There we go. The game's working now. Right. Last time we survived our first year here in Magpyton. Our first winter, we survived with plenty of food. Look, we've got over a thousand food coming out of winter and nearly 200 firewood. We're doing so well. You have no idea how well we are doing. Although I do have lots of mods installed to, like, deliberately make the game easier. <laughs> and it's not a difficult game to start with, so, you know, maybe we shouldn't be patting ourselves on the back too much, but never mind. Um, yes, we survived our first year, our first winter. Um, I think what I'm probably going to do for the first few parts, anyway, is cover, like, a year for each part. And then when expansion starts picking up... Um, I might cover like maybe 10 years each part or something like that because expansion, you know, you'll start expanding very quickly all of a sudden um, Unless I get bored by then. What is that? Is that, is that a little hill underneath the uh, Thing or is it like a reflection? I think it's a little hill, isn't it? It's a little hill under the water. Oh, that's sweet, isn't it? That's sweet. Um Yes, what was I saying? Literally can't remember. I've already got distracted and gone off on a tangent. <laughs> We're like two minutes in or something like that. Um, I hope the audio is all right. I'm having issues with the audio when I'm playing Banished and I don't know why. Um, I did mess around with all of my audio settings and it completely screwed everything up. Um, and I actually recorded a Banished video that you never got to see because I deleted it because the audio was so utterly awful. Um, but then I put all the settings back to normal and last the last video I think the audio was just a bit crap I mean I did mess around with it as much as I could to kind of smooth it out and make it not quite as terrible um in the editing process but it still wasn't great and I don't quite understand why I've turned the gain down on my microphone um to see if that would make any difference but then I, I see then I recorded like another test video not playing banished um afterwards just to check the the audio and it, w it was fine. So it only seems to be when I'm playing Banished that the audio goes a bit dodgy. But I mean, hopefully it's not too bad. Because these videos are meant to be nice and relaxing and you don't want to have to be putting up with crappy, awful audio, do you? Um, anyway, yes, we're into our second year. You can see that has gone up to number two. Um, what were we going to do? We were, we were going to sort out our forest area. That's what we were going to do. So we need to start building up our forest area. We need our forester's hut. And we need our herbalist's... And our gatherer so I think the herbalist is probably the priority and we're also gonna have our laborers clearing out all the iron and the stone so this can become more of a kind of proper forest which means you know there's gonna be laborers trudging through the hunting area and possibly scaring away all of the animals which the hunters might not appreciate oh I've just thought Ty Lord's a laborer isn't he and his wife Diamona she's a hunter Oh dear, and they've been avoiding each other because he was a labourer working over here and she was a hunter working over here and now, oh, they're going to be coming together. There's going to be friction. There's going to be tension. The rumour mill's going to be going into overload. <laughs> um, right, I'm going to assign... I'm going to assign a couple of builders. Um, but I'm going to put the Forester Lodge on pause. It hasn't assigned any builders to that anyway, but I'm going to put that on pause and I'm going to put the Gatherer's Hut on pause. So, it, the, yes, it's the herbalists that will be built first, hopefully. I also put some little paths in, didn't I, that they will hopefully make up for us. Um, and we're not having any new children being born, which is a bit concerning, so I might need to build a new house to try and, you know, encourage growth um, at some point soon. Still, nobody has picked up these fucking pumpkins. Those pumpkins, oh, actually, I need to, oh no, I've already got a farmer. Um, yes, because I, I never actually de-assigned the farmer, did I? <clears throat> um, we've gone down to one labourer. <laughs> I could really do with some more children ageing up. Have we got any nine-year-olds? We've got one nine-year-old and an eight-year-old there. Because um, they age up at ten, don't they? We've got an eight-year-old there. So yeah, we'll have some coming through there to tie Lord still on his own. Has he still got shit tons of food? Yeah. Yeah, he's still got shit tons of food. He's only got eight potatoes. He's getting through them. But uh, of course, once the potatoes are gone, is there no potatoes left in here? Yeah, so there's only potatoes in people's houses. We don't have a way of replenishing the potatoes. So they're going to have to do without potatoes until we get seeds to plant potatoes. Potatoes don't come from seeds, do they? Do potatoes come from seeds? Where do potatoes come from? I mean, I've planted teddies. I've grown my own teddies, but I just like plant potatoes to grow more potatoes. The potato is the seed, isn't it? Is a potato a seed? I don't know. I don't understand how these things work. I'm not a biologist. 
or a gardener or, or, or a human with common sense apparently um yes so what do i do we're building the herbalists and then we'll get a herbalist to give us some medicine and we also decided that we needed a tailor as well and a tannery so we'll build that out here a little bit um, but I want to get this bit done first. But I, I probably will need want a tailor like before next winter. And the year goes fast, man. So maybe we should get on that. Hmm, I mean, we can at least plan out where we're going to put them. So if we put a nice dirt path just around this little stockpile around there. And we can have a tannery. Um, I've moved my microphone forward a bit because I've put the gain down, but it means I have to keep leaning around it to see the screen. Um, yeah, if we put a tannery, rotate that around, put it like there, but we'll put it on pause, put it on pause, put it on pause. Don't want them to build it yet. And then a tailor, which we can put... Let's put it around that way so it's kind of facing the tannery. How does that look? That leaves a bit of a gap with the path though, doesn't it? I mean, does it fit on like that? No, it doesn't really. It sticks out a bit. Oh, I don't like it when things stick out a bit. I like everything to be nice and... Could put it behind the tannery, I suppose. Yeah, we could do... The... Yeah, we'll put the tailors behind the tannery. That's what we'll do. And then we'll build another little road just along there which could just nick down there um, and you can go up to its door like that isn't that lovely it's gonna look so good guys our little village it's gonna look so nice then we can probably have the blacksmiths here when we build one of them and we'll put that on pause so they don't end up building it because i don't need it yet we're just laying out where things are gonna go and how things are gonna look we do need to get that hopeless built because health is going down a little bit happiness is still fine though um I don't really know what you have to do to get happiness to go down, to be honest with you. They are very easily pleased, other villagers. Like, they're all just taking fucking happy pills or something because they're just happy all the time. The only time I've ever had happiness drop significantly was the first time I ever played. And um, when villagers start dying, like, for the most part, villagers will only die of old age. But they can die of other things. Like, they can die of... Um, uh, blah, blah. they can die in childbirth and they can also there can be like freak accidents and stuff especially in things like mines and quarries when we when we get a mine and a quarry people can die in freak accidents in there um and sometimes there might be the odd plague crops up but i, I don't think i've ever had anybody die of plague actually because i'm always prepared for it so yes death isn't something that we have to worry about for a while because people aren't going to start aging to death um, for a while but there can be like freak accidents and <clears throat> on the the very my very first playthrough I had a villager die in childbirth and I hadn't built a cemetery because you can build cemeteries uh, you can build somewhere yeah that's a cemetery you can build a chapel and you can build a cemetery um, you don't need the chapel for the cemetery you can build a cemetery separately and because I didn't have a cemetery there was nowhere to bury her and because of that happiness went down like I think it was about two stars for about 20 fucking years like honestly it took the village ages to recover from that they were all so depressed because this villager had died in childbirth and we had nowhere to bury her because we didn't have a cemetery and that just like affected them for the next two decades they just didn't get over it so since then I've always been like really paranoid about building a cemetery like as as soon as is kind of feasible just build a cemetery so there's always places to bury people and of course when you make a cemetery it's got like a limited amount of room so you can only get a certain amount of graves in it so you have to keep building more cemeteries and um, to make sure you're keeping up with the amount of death which once it starts expanding and you've got like 300 people and there's people dying all the time um you know it's you sort of have to keep up with the demand <laughs> But yeah, it, it just like really fucked up the village that did. Like 20 years later, people were still going, oh God, do you remember when Geraldine died? And we had nowhere to bury her because apparently just burying her like in the back garden wasn't good enough or something, I don't know. And they don't believe in cremating people apparently. Only burial is good enough. So yeah, that's the only thing that I've ever had that like significantly reduced happiness. Um, I don't know what else affects it really. I mean, diet maybe? I know that affects health. 
So, you know, but I mean, they were perfectly happy just eating potatoes, weren't they? They were absolutely fine. They were perfectly happy when they had no homes and nothing to eat but potatoes. So frankly, I don't know what would upset them, to be honest. So long as no villager dies without there being a cemetery. But this is the thing. If a villager dies and there is a cemetery, then they're fine. It's just like, oh, she's dead, but it's all right because we buried her. So we don't need to be sad about it. It's like... It's very weird, these people. Very strange, but yes. So I don't really know what you would have to do to make happiness go down. I think it does just start to degrade a little bit as the village gets bigger and bigger and becomes more of a town. Uh, maybe it's the community that's making them happy at the minute. I don't know. But um, yeah, it does start to just go down a little bit. But if you build chapels and things, that increases happiness. Having a church to go to increases happiness. And also building breweries so you can make beer. Um, that increases happiness as well, obviously, but it'll be a long time before we're doing that because it's really not a priority <laughs> at all. Like, it's the kind of thing when you've got so many people, like, eventually, when you've got so many people and not enough jobs to go around and just, like, you're swimming in resources, then you're sort of like, you know what, might as well build a brewery. Because, um, of course, the brewery needs something to make alcohol with, like apples or something like that. So you have to make sure you've definitely got plenty of food before you would even think about um, making a brewery. So, yeah, that's, I mean, that's probably not what people would do in the real world. <laughs> people would probably prioritise alcohol over food, wouldn't they? Because people are weird. Um, who's our farmer at the moment? Eleanor is our farmer. Good old Eleanor. She was our woodcutter for a while, wasn't she? Um, who's our woodcutter now? Uh, Irvine. Irvine, who is one of the children who grew up. We've got a 12-year-old woodcutter. We are sending a 12-year-old out to chop up firewood for us. And at the minute, he's got nothing to do because we've reached our firewood limit. So he's just carrying stones around instead. He's working as a labourer, old 12-year-old Irvine, or Irvine, or whatever his fucking name was. Have they moved on to clearing this stone and stuff yet? I think they have, haven't they? Although we've only got one official labourer. Is it Tylord? Yes! <laughs> Tylord is our one labourer because nobody wants to hire him because he's like the black sheep of the village because of the whole, um... The whole, uh, Diamona situation. Yeah, I'm starting to think that he must have walked out on her or something because, I mean, the village is just shunning him. Nobody wants to live with him, so he's stuck in that house on his own. Nobody wants to hire him, so he's just stuck being a labourer. He doesn't get any of the exciting jobs. Like, they won't even let him build the herbalist's place. They're like, oh no, we're not having you anywhere near this, darling. No, 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 you can just carry rocks around for the rest of your life because nobody wants you. <laughs> Bless him, poor Ty Lord. Maybe he'll become the herbalist after the herbalist is built. How's the herbalist going? We need to remove two more things, so it's just those two. We've already chopped them down, they just need to remove them. And then they need to bring some stuff. We've got plenty of logs and stones and things from uh, all of the stuff we, uh, we, we've we removed from over here. This is where our village is going to expand out to. We'll expand out towards the lake, I think. And once we've expanded out this far, we'll probably want another forest area. Because um, what you end up with is like lots of little villages all connected to each other. So, because eventually, I mean, the stuff that this forest is bringing in, it'll be too far to take it all the way down here. So we'll we'll make another forest area over here with another foresters and another herbalists and another um, gatherers, hut and hunters cabin and everything. <clears throat> um, and then eventually we'll build like we'll build loads and loads of farmland. I always like to have an area that's just like loads of farmland. Once we've got more things that we can plant and stuff like that. They're still planting pumpkins, aren't they? Yes. Maybe next year we'll switch to squashes. Just to shake things up a little bit. There's some wild cows just standing there. Contemplating the hill. Possibly deciding if they can be bothered to climb it or not. Cows are like that, aren't they? They just stand there and contemplate. I always like watching cows. I find them fascinating. Watching sheep is even more interesting. Just watching cows. Sometimes they just kind of stand there. And you're just like... What are you thinking, cow? What is going through your little cow mind? <laughs> that is what they do. They just stand and just look at stuff. And then eat some grass. And then they get distracted and they just, like, watch something. But you can never work out what it is they're watching. And it seems like there's something really intense going on in their brains. And you just look at them. And you're just like, what, what? What's going on in that mind of yours, cow? And then all of a sudden they just go back to eating grass. It's just like they just, like, they just become disinterested in whatever it was that captured them. And they go back to eating grass. Why am I talking about cows? I don't know. What, <laughs> what's going on? What's happening? Right. We're filling up our herbalist with logs. Who's working on, on our herbalist? Christian. Um, 
the Kristen. Christ, it's not Christian, it's Kristen, isn't it? It's Kristen, and Kristen is a woman. Kristen sounds like a man. Never mind. Um, Kristen and who's the other one? 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 I can't close this window. Who's the other one? Who's the other one? Uh, Dormando. Dormando. I think I like Dormando. Was he one of our first... Was he our first farmer, Dormando? Oh, no. Was it... Oh, who was our first farmer? Was it... Hang on. Oh, no. It was our Lyle, wasn't it? It was our first farmer. He's a fisherman now and his wife is a farmer instead. That's marvellous. And Irvine, Irvine is the woodcutter. Would somebody else like to have a child, please? Another child's just grown up, so we've got more labourers. That's nice. But could somebody else please have a child? I kind of... I want I want a bit of expansion going on here. You need to start having more sex, everybody. That is... I decree it. That is my order. I mean, not you, Ty Lord. Nobody wants to touch you. <laughs> Nobody wants to touch you with a fucking barge pole, love. <laughs> you just carry on carrying your rocks around. Try not to make eye contact with anybody. Um, oh, this is looking good, isn't it? Is somebody going to come and start building this proper... There's a child wandering through the middle of the building site. That's nice. Oh, his health is not good. We really need this herbalists. His health is... I mean, overall, health is down to four hearts. But uh, old Weevily, nine-year-old Weevily, he's like three and a half. So that's that's not good. We definitely need a herbalist. Yep, there's Kristen and Dormando. Hard at work. Are we nearly done? We're 18 out of 45. Okay, come on, guys. I believe in you. 20 out of 45. 21 out of 45. 22... 23. This is riveting entertainment. She's got her saw out. He's got his hammer out. They're definitely just sawing and hammering thin air, but never mind. They're still building the herbalists. Where are we? 29 out of 45. 85% complete overall. Come on, I believe in you guys. I believe in you. 91% complete now. 36 out of 45. Only 9 left to go, people. Oh, they've switched. They've switched. He's got the saw. She's got the hammer. She's got a saw again now. Both sawing them the thin air, just like you do. 99% complete. And... The Herbalists is built! And isn't it pretty? It's got sunflowers and mushrooms and leafy things and like a little terrace area and the path goes all the way through it to what will eventually be the gatherer's hut. Isn't it wonderful? The herb limit is 100. I'm going to put that up to 300? Yeah, because it doesn't take up that much fucking space, will it? And then we need a Herbalist. So... Oh, there's room for two herbalists, but we don't need two herbalists. We only need one herbalist. I think it would be overkill to have two herbalists going out there. So who is our herbalist? Moment of truth. Will they ever trust Ty Lord with an actual job? No. No, they trust ten-year-old Tavo. <laughs> they have picked a ten-year-old child to be their village herbalist. The person that they rely on to keep them healthy to do all of their, you know, general healthcare stuff, they have picked 10-year-old Tavo over Tylord. Because <laughs> fucking nobody wants to hire Tylord, Tylord for anything. <laughs> is he still just a labourer? Yes! Yes, he is. He has been a labourer since I think he was about 19 now. <laughs> Just they just do not want to promote him. They just just no. No, no, Ty Lord. Nobody wants you, man. Okay. Um Right, I mean we're we're good for wood. And we're doing alright with food, although you should never say that in Banished. You always need to be building more things for more food. Although they're not having children. So Although I don't know, is that is that a new child who's just turned up? Do we have any zero year old people? No, we've got no new children, so we might need to build another house at some point. Although there isn't really anybody to move in with each other, is there? Not really. Um, I mean, there's Irv Irvine. Ir I was going to say Irvine and Brennett, but they're both men, so you know. I mean, that would be fine. We're we're an all inclusive community here. Nobody would judge you, but I kind of need you to have children, so you know. Um, yeah, there isn't really anybody to move in with each other. Hmm, I just have to wait a while. See, I mean, come on, like, we've got couples and so I mean, that house is a bit overcrowded, but they could have another kid. I mean, you're just being kind of selfish not having another kid at this point. You know, the village needs more workers. <laughs> Need more workers coming through, man. There's our little pumpkins growing nicely in early... We're in early summer already? Oh my god, how did that happen? The air is running away with us here. I might cover two years in this video. <laughs> um... It's because I haven't been pausing as much. I've been letting the game run and I've lost my little thing. I've lost my little thing. There we go. Yes, I was pausing a lot last time to explain stuff, wasn't I? That's probably what took up most of the time. 
Maybe we'll cover more than a year in this one then. Maybe we'll wait until... Maybe we'll go until everything's built? Oh, I don't know. We'll find a convenient place to stop the video at some point. Right. <clears throat> what is our next priority? We don't need the foresters yet because we've got plenty of wood. Although, she's always chopping more fire. You see, this is the thing. Never say we've got plenty of when you're playing Banished because things get out of hand so quickly. Like, honestly, it goes from, oh my god, we've got so much of that, we're in an absolute surplus, to, oh my god, we've got nothing, really quickly. So we should probably build the foresters. Oh. But we also, you know, we want to keep on top of the food situation, but also we really need clothes before the winter. I think we need a way of, we've had more children grow up. Um, we need a way of making clothes, at least, before the winter comes off. But will we be all right for another winter? I think we'll be all right for another winter, clothes-wise. Maybe save that till next winter. So I think we'll build a forester's lodge. We've got two builders. Um, although it's not assigned them, for whatever reason. I'm going to assign two builders. Assign two bil- Assign two builders! They- Look, you've got to- Flippin' heck, man. There we go! Who's building? Oh, Tile Lord! Tile Lord is a builder! Oh, well, he's ingratiated himself with somebody. Somebody is trusting him to build the Forester's Lodge. This is a very big deal, Tile Lord. I mean, at the minute, you don't have a friend. I mean, I've got two builders assigned, but only one is assigned to this for whatever reason. So, like, nobody wants to work with you, clearly. <laughs> Bless him. Bless his little heart. He's going to have to build it on his own because nobody wants to work with him. Oh, there we go. We've got another one now. Tavo. Ten-year-old Tavo. Uh, who's the herbalist, then? He didn't last long as the herbalist. Who's the herbalist? Dormando is the herbalist. Oh, I like Dormando. She's She's been one of... Uh, he, even... Sorry, Dormando. I'm so sorry. He's one of the ones who's kind of been a bit of everything, hasn't he? He's been a farmer. He's been... Was he a farmer? He maybe wasn't a farmer. He was definitely a fisherman at one point. Um, he's one of the good ones, though. One of my favourites is he. I like Dormando and I like Eleanor. And I like... Um, Diamonda, who's still a hunter, still making something of herself, being a single mother, raising a child after fucking Tylord abandoned her, the bastard. <laughs> um, she got better food now. Yes, she's got chicken and she's got sheep meat, as the game calls it, and she's still got teddies left over and she's got fish and pumpkins. Yeah, she's spoiling herself. How's Tylord eating at the moment? How's he doing? He's got chicken and fish and pumpkins. But he's out of teddies and he's only got 14 pumpkins. He's only got 14 pumpkins to his name. Isn't that terrible? I mean, how many pumpkins have this lot got? They've got 41 pumpkins. And how many pumpkins have you got? 34 pumpkins. And you've got 68 pumpkins. They've got fucking 68 pumpkins over there, Ty Lord. You're slumming it with fucking 14 pumpkins. How many have you got? 43. Oh, yeah, you go, girl. Diamond has got 43 pumpkins to your 14, you twat. <laughs> Really taken against Ty Lord, I don't know if you can tell. Um, still just living in that house on his own. Uh, but he has been entrusted to build the Forester's Lodge. So, you know, he's going up in the world a little bit. Maybe he'll even become a for forester. But that means he'll be working in the forest with Diamona. I mean, that could get a bit dicey, you know. I mean, she might quit as a hunter if that happens. And we don't want that to happen because, you know, she's a great hunter, probably. She's our best hunter, yeah. Yeah, I've decided she's uh, definitely our best hunter. Um, Dormando is our herbalist now. So Tavo didn't last very long, but he is only 10. Maybe making him like the village doctor was a little bit uh, a little bit ambitious. Um, which is kind of what the herbalist is for now. Later on, we'll be able to build a hospital and then we can get an actual doctor. But uh, we can't do that yet. At the minute, we just have a little herbalist hut. Which is quite nice and sweet. It's like a little, like a little witch's cabin out in the... Uh, out in the forest. I really do think, with all of these children growing up, I really do think I want another house. Just so some of them can start moving in together and making babies. I mean, I know they're only like 10 years old, but this game doesn't really seem to care about that. They're quite happy for like, you know, fucking 12 year olds shacking up with each other and <laughs> starting families. Um, yes, because we've got Irvine's 13. Uh, and Brennett's 14, although we've said they're both boys, so that doesn't really help us very much. Um, and then... Table's 10, also a boy. Ah, they're all boys, actually. So we don't have any girls for them to move in with. 
Hmm. Oh well. I would like to build a little house out in the forest though, just because I think it would be cute. Um, to have a little, like a little, you know, where the one of the foresters can live. Well, they probably won't. Probably like the fucking farmer will decide to move into the house in the forest and all of the foresters will be living in the village miles away from the forest or such, but never mind. <laughs> um, hopefully one of the foresters will move in. Is that uh, Messica? Oh, Messica. What's Messica been doing? Oh, Messica's a hunter. Messica is hunting. Marvellous. Could I say, have you actually collected any herbs at all yet? 13, but they're not in the storage barn. Hmm, maybe that's because people have been using them. Maybe that's why. Maybe because, you know, they haven't had a herbalist up until now. So, um, is Ty Lord still... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ty Lord's no longer a builder! Hang on! Wait, 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 wait! Um, that's a fucking noisy car going right back past, uh, back, back, past the back of my house. Did you fucking hear that? I bet you did. That was horrific, that was boy racers going up the back uh, wait well, not up the back lane up the, the road um yes so that was what you could hear there uh diamona has taken ty Lord's job as the builder oh i fucking hope that ty Lord's just a laborer again please tell me he's gone back to being a laborer yes yes he's gone back to being a laborer <laughs> his ex-wife stole his job <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. I like to think that she managed to get him fired. No, no. I like to think that he got himself fired by being really, really incompetent. He was just like the most incompetent builder ever. They were just like, no. we. You know what, Ty Lord? We trusted you. We gave you a chance. And no, you proved us all right in thinking that you are one of life's failures. Um, and they fired him and gave his job to, to uh, what's her name, Diamona. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> So she's not a hunter anymore. I wonder if she'll go back to being a hunter um, after she, after the. Although she could become a forester. You see, what I don't want is I don't want her to become a labourer, because then you know I mean as much as I'm not saying anything against the labourers, we need the labourers. They are very important people. They're going to clear all of this stone and iron for us so that we can make more trees and stuff like that. But you know, I kind of just like the fact that nobody wants to hire Ty Lord, so he just has to be a labourer. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh bless your little heart Ty Lord. for a brief moment for a brief moment you had purpose in life but no no now you're back to moving rocks around right how are we doing we're doing quite well aren't we we've got enough of everything what's that that stone we're a bit low on because it was mostly iron that we took plus we're um we're not really using iron for anything at the moment Really? I mean, yeah, that doesn't need any iron. That just needs stone. So we're using stone to build things, but we're not using iron for anything. So all the iron is just being stored. That fucking second storage thing is almost full. Yeah. Hmm. Probably going to need another storage thing at some point, but that's fine. But, um, yes. And plus, oh, most of this is iron. Like, there isn't that much stone that we're taking. This is stone down here. But this is all iron and it's stone that we really need, to be honest. Or, I mean, we don't really need it. We've got, you know, enough, but we've got so much iron. <laughs> and we're not using iron for anything yet. I mean, we will do soon enough. But, um, yes, let's plan where we're going to put the blacksmiths. Because if we plan out where we're going to put everything, and then we can just have it all on pause. Um, I think if we put the blacksmiths, like, round like that, that would be quite cute, wouldn't it? Because the blacksmith has like, um, put that on, pause, 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 pause. Um, the blacksmith has two entrances, it has one there and one there. So we can have a path going both ways. That'll look quite cute, put a path along there. So we can maybe have more houses along here. So we're expanding the village out and this will be our little tailors and blacksmiths over here. Um, I've had another child age up, but fucking none being born, man. None being born at all. So who's aged up then? Is it Weevily? Was Weevily already aged up? Oh, I can't remember, man. Hade? Or Hyde? Or Hader? Or whatever that name is. Hader? Hady? Hady? Hady. Let's go with Hady. Um, yeah, I think it's her that's just aged up. But wait, I need more children being born. That's what I need. Although if she's aged up, we've finally got a girl who's aged up. So, I mean, I know she's only 10 years old. I'm, I'm uncomfortable making her get married and start having children. But, I mean, as far as the game is concerned, that is fine. If we build another house now, she will probably move in with one of the boys and just start making babies, which is... 
concerning, but you know, um, we've got our Forester's Lodge, yay! Can we now add in a little path from like there? No, I think I, I think what I did was I built the, um, the Forester's Lodge like literally right up, <laughs> right up close to the Herbalist. So I should have left a bit of a gap there, but never mind. Um, right, so we need Foresters. How many Foresters do we need? Four. I don't want four forests. You know what? It's not that desperate. Like, we've got plenty of wood at the minute. It's more that I want, you know, the option. Um, the option of a forester. So I'm only going to put one forester in at the moment. Just one. And it better not be Tylord. Oh, he's a builder now. But there's nothing for him to build. So <laughs> we've trusted him with the building work and there's nothing for him to build. What's she? She's gone back to being a hunter. Good. Good. She's got her good old job back now that she's built the forester's lodge. Um, yeah, so Tyler Lord's a builder now that there's nothing to build because I've got it all on pause. <laughs> but, um, hmm, what do we want to build next? Like, <clears throat> we're into early autumn already. So if we just set time ticking away again, it cannot just be going along in the background, can it? Because there's nothing that really needs my attention. The harvest is coming in already. Who's our farmer? Eleanor. I like Eleanor. She's a good Eleanor. She likes to just muck in and get work done, doesn't she? So she's our farmer bringing in our harvest. We've got so much food. Again, you should never say that in Banished because, it, you know, it will just get out of hand very quickly. So maybe we should build the... Yeah, we'll build the Gatherer's Hut. But it's not desperate. Like, we're very quickly going to run out of people is the problem when we start building all of this stuff. Which is why I want more children to be born, man. Um... But if we let Waverly, Weaverly, who is currently the only one assigned and is 10 years old. But Ty Lord is apparently a builder, but he's just not assigned. He's just not assigned to that thing. Oh, he's visiting the herbalist. Oh, he's got personal issues, has he? He needs to go and see the herbalist to get some herbs for his issues. Should we speculate about what Ty Lord's issues might be? <laughs> He's pro <laughs> Do you think he's a bit depressed being the village loner who <laughs> just nobody wants to talk to him? Nobody wants to hire him? I mean, okay, we're going to maybe trust you with building the uh, gatherer's hood, but we might just fire you halfway through like we did the last time. Um, it's Hady, who has become a labourer at the age of 10, bless her little heart. She's clearing stuff. She's actually doing Tylord's job for him. Um, <laughs> there we go. What's he doing? He's working, apparently. Is he going to build that path? I think that's what he's doing. Hang on, the path's already built. What the fuck are you doing, Ty Lord? Ty Lord? Ty Lord? Ty Lord? Ty Lord? What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh my god, you really are the most incompetent. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There was one bit of path that needed to be... Uh... There we go. And now he's picking up resources. <sighs> he walked from there. Right, he was at the herbalist there. The thing he needs to be building is there. And he walked from there all the way over to here to build one bit of path that we don't even really need yet, right? And then he's gonna walk from there. Where the hell is he gone? Where are you, Ty Lord? Right, he's gone to pick up resources. Oh, right, he's picking up, where's he picking up resources from? Ty Lord, what are you doing? I was assuming you were picking up resources from the storage thing to take to the thing that you need to build. Oh, I'm gonna keep my eye on him now. What the fuck is he doing? Where are you picking up resources from? Where are you? Where are you, Ty Lord? I... Now you're getting something to eat? You have not picked up any resources. What the fuck? I'm starting to understand why nobody wants to hire you, sweetheart. You're just a fucking slacker, aren't you? You don't want to do any work at all. You just want to wander around aimlessly. <sighs> Bet fucking... Fucking Weevilly's doing all the work, isn't he? Oh, he's visiting the Herbalist as well. He's got issues too, but we're not interested in his issues. I'm not going to pry on his personal life. It's just Ty Lord. I'm going to do that too. <clears throat> oh, we've reached a limit on logs. We've reached a limit on logs. So the log limit is 200 and we're at 588. Yes. So if I tell you to stop cutting trees down, our one forester, whoever it is. Oh, it's Tavo, isn't it? Yes, 11-year-old Tavo, who was very briefly the herbalist. He was the herbalist and then I think... Was he a builder for a while? And now he's now he's a forester. He's finding his way in life, you know? He's figuring out what it is he wants to do. But, um, yes, what I've done there is I've told them to stop cutting the trees down and to only plant. 
So all he'll be doing for the foreseeable is planting trees, not cutting them down so the forest will grow nice and healthily. You can also do the opposite if you want to clear an area of forest. Rather than doing the whole clear resources thing, um, you can put a forester's lodge down and then tell them not to plant any trees, only to cut trees down and it'll clear the whole area and then, you know, you would want to demolish the uh, forest lodge. If you can demolish things, can you demolish things? I can't actually remember. Yeah, you can, can't you? There's a remove buildings option. Is there? Remove, remove structures. I'd, I'd never really use it because, I don't know, you never really need to. You never need to remove anything for the most part. It's not really much point, but uh, you could. If you wanted to, you could use the Forester's Lodge to clear an area of trees. Um, although I think it would be easier just to tell them to clear the trees, <laughs> you know. But you know, um, you can do that if you want. Storage pile getting a bit full in it. Might need to build another little one there, maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I could build like a little storage area in the forest so the wood that they're making could go directly into it. I don't know where I'd put it though. I don't want to take up too much room in the forest because I want, you know, trees. That's the whole point of it. <coughs> um, you can see these are some little trees he's planted. Little Tavo planting little trees for us. Isn't he lovely? They're not doing very well on clearing these resources, but then we don't have many labourers. Um, so nobody's having fucking children. It's literally nobody had any children. Oh my god, guys, start having more sex, Jesus. I'm amazed you need me to tell you that. I mean, it doesn't happen, it doesn't help that fucking Diamona and Tylod split up. They might have had more kids by now, but no. I mean, what? how old is our youngest child? Like six? So it's been a while since anybody had any kids. Yeah, we really, really need children coming through. Like, really. Um... Alonza might actually be the last child that was born. Maybe the whole Diamona and Tylod situation put everybody off the whole idea <laughs> of, uh, of family making just in case it all goes tits up. Um, I don't know whether to build another house. I don't know whether I should. I mean, I want I want more kids, but uh, it won't necessarily work out the way I, I want it to if I build another house now. I mean, I don't think there's enough people. So I need to wait for more people to be born. So we're in a bit of a catch-22 situation, really. Um, uh, how's that coming along? Well, that's coming along nicely. People are building that. It's Weaverly. Has uh, Ty Lord managed to keep it? No. Ty Lord has not managed to keep his job. Callus has taken over this time. What the fuck? What the fuck is Ty Lord doing then? He oh, he's a hunter! Oh. What's Diamona? She's a forester. Oh. Oh, so Tavo has lost the job as the forester. Poor Tavo. Where's Tavo? He just can't hold the job down at all, can he? Um, oh, he's a hunter now. Right, he's a 12-year-old hunter. Um, he's just cycling through everything. He's trying a bit of everything, figuring out what it is he, what is it, what it is he, um, he likes. Um, so yes, this is a turn up for the books, isn't it? So Tylord has taken Diamona's old job, but Diamona has become the forester. So, she's just having a lovely time frolicking around the forest, planting trees. That's what she's doing. While Ty Lord, I mean, they've they've trusted him with, like, a bow and arrow to hunt things with. Which might be a mistake, villagers of Magpyton. I'm just gonna say, you might live to regret that one. But, fair play to him. He's finally, you know... Finally managed to get a proper job, hopefully. I mean, you know, he clearly messed up the builder's job, didn't he? Because he lost that before it was even fucking finished. So, who knows? Um, and now we need some gatherers. Well, there's room for four gatherers. But we've only got four spare people. So I'm going to put... I'm, the food situation is fine for now. Like, if the food situation be becomes a problem... Um, we can have more gatherers, but for now, if we just have two gatherers, and if we take away one of the, oh, one of the hunters, or one of the fishermen, we take away one of the fishermen, because like I say, we've got plenty of food. I mean, we're going into winter with seventeen hundred, nearly eighteen hundred. Um, although that is because the harvest has just been brought in, hasn't it? Oh, the harvest has been brought in. That means we don't need our farmer anymore. Hmm. 
So if we take our farmer off, mm, I don't know, would I rather have laborers or... I want the laborers to get rid of all of this stone and iron. That's what I want. So we'll keep the farmer on there for now because um, she'll just be, or he. Who's the farmer these days? Is it still Eleanor? No, it's Lilano. Lilano was taken over as the farmer. Um, so he can, yeah, he'll just be working as a laborer over the winter anyway. And then I don't have to remember to reassign him. <laughs> Um, because I have definitely never forgotten to reassign my farmers in spring and then just ended up with no crops because of it. That's definitely never happened. Absolutely not. Not even once. Yeah. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so at the minute we've got three, although it's actually four. Did I take away one of our fishermen? I did, didn't I? Yeah, so now we've only got three fishermen. But I mean, we're bringing in so much food. Like, how much fish did you produce last season? Fucking 1,300. And this season, like, 874. So we don't need that many fishermen. So this is what you can do. So... If you have... Actually, sometimes it's good to have fewer people than you need in each place. Because if we only have three fishermen working and the food situation is fine, that's brilliant. If the food situation then starts to deteriorate very quickly, rather than having to scramble and build new buildings, you can just put the number of people up. Um, you will also be wanting to scramble and build new buildings. But, like, as a stopgap, I can put in an extra fisherman and some extra gatherers. You know, if food starts to become a problem. So sometimes it's actually better to have fewer than you need in each one. Because then, you know, when you hit the threshold, you can there's sort of something very quick that you can do about it. Because you will hit the food threshold at some point. I mean, all you can do by having um, all the jobs filled is to just... To delay that but it will still sneak up on you because it does um i've played enough of this game to know um although we're doing pretty well in this one i have to say we're doing quite well um they're busy clearing away all of this iron they're getting through it nice and quick and then they'll clear away that stone because we've got so much iron look how much iron we've got we've got 618 iron and we've got absolutely nothing to do with it it's like there's nothing that needs iron right at this moment we've just got a fucking massive stockpile of it for absolutely no reason. Um, so this is our little foresty area out here then. It's quite nice. It'll be even nicer when all of this iron and stone is cleared and more trees have been put up. Um, but who's our, is, is Diamona still the forester? Yeah, she's still the forester. Is Tire Lord still a hunter? Yes, he's holding the job down, guys. He's, he's being a functioning member of the community. Maybe he's pulling around. Who knows, maybe he's starting to pay child support <laughs> to old Talonza, who is now seven years old. What's Talonza up to? Talonza is playing. Good on you, Talonza. Playing in the forest with his father and his mother. <laughs> his mother planting trees and his father, I don't know, shooting arrows at people. I mean, deer, <clears throat> probably. It's fucking die lord. I mean, he could be doing anything. Should we build a little house out in the forest? Um... We will build another, yeah, we'll build another house and we'll build it out in the forest if I can find somewhere. Ooh, actually, there isn't really anywhere convenient to build it. Hang on, we could build it round the back of here. Maybe our herbalist will end up living there. Which design do we want for the house? That's quite cute. I think that looks more like a log cabin in the woods, though, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll build a little log cabin right there behind the herbalists. Uh, get two builders on that. Shouldn't take them long to do that. And they need to remove three things. Oh, there's a very tiny tree and also a very big tree and a, and a, 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 a twig. <coughs> it needs removing. Um, who, who's been assigned to that then? Arlyle. Oh, Arlyle. I haven't seen you for a while, Arlyle. I don't know what you've been doing with yourself. Maybe you've been a labourer, but you were our very first farmer, bless you. Um, and Irvine. 15-year-old Irvine, who was a child when he first came here. We have watched him grow and blossom. Isn't he wonderful? And now he's building a new house. And maybe he'll live in it with an inappropriately young girl who he will start having children with. <laughs> As happens in uh, in um, Banished quite frequently. Still nobody had... Oh, hang on. We've now got 16 adults and 6 children. What's that? 22? Have we had a new child born? We had a new child born. Please tell me we've had a new child born. Please. Somewhere. Yes! 
Valerie, Va oh fucking hell, Valerial, Valerial, Valerial. Why not just Valerie? I mean, fucking hell, why do you have to stick that fucking L on the end just to make my life harder? Valerial, Valerial, Valerie, Va Va Valerie. I'm calling her Valerie. That's her name now. So that's um, the Lano and Rainy who have had that child. Marvelous, the Lano and Rainy. The rest of the village could learn from you. Just start having fucking sex. It's not difficult, Jesus. <laughs> um, we're into late autumn, so we're almost into winter, and I'm not even thinking about it. Like, that's how well we're doing. We've got 167 firewood. Who's our woodcutter these days? Is it... It's Eleanor. Bless her. She's gone back to our old job. Because uh, she was the farmer for a while, wasn't she? And now she's gone back to woodcutting. Bless her little heart. You're a good worker, Eleanor. You pretty much keep the fucking village running single-handedly. You do. You're always doing something important. Tylord's still a hunter? Yes. Fuck him. Bastard. Diamond is still a forester. Diamona's had a child! Who the fuck is the father of your child, Diamona? Oh my god! Oh, this is proper, proper tense village gossip. This is who is the father of Diamona's child? Is it Ty Lord? Are they reconnecting? They're still living in separate houses. Did they get drunk one night and we literally have no ale? That's the amount of stored alcohol we have. It's zero, so they couldn't have got drunk one night. I mean, what's been going on? Because if it's not Ty Lord. Who the hell could it be? Because who have we got? Messica, but Messica is with Callus, so that would be controversial. Um, Weevily is technically an adult. He's also 11 years old. Tavo is technically an adult, but he's 12. How old is Diamona these days? 26. I mean, that would be a bit dodgy, right? That would be a bit fucking dodgy, that would. <clears throat> um, there is Dormando, but he's with Kristen. And they're, they're, they're both children, so no. And then Lalano and Rainy have had a child of their own. Um, Brennett is 16. I mean, yeah, that's kind of like, she's 26 and he's 16. That's fucking dodgy. But I mean, it's it's not beyond the realms of possibility. Um, and then we've got Arlyle and Eleanor. Oh, I do not believe that she slept with fucking Arlyle. No, no, no. Arlyle and Eleanor are the power couple of the village. They are. I'm not having any shenanigans going on with their, them and affairs and things like that. Absolutely not. But then we've got Irvine, who's 15. So, mmm, mmm, there's a few potential candidates there. Gossip Mill will be overflowing with that one. Who the hell is Rich's flipping father? Oh, we're having a lot of boys be born and not many girls. This may become a problem in the near future. <laughs> gonna have a largely male populated um um village and every woman's gonna have to have like three husbands or something yes diamona what have you been up to how have you got a child hmm hmm what's been going on anyway what's important is that they are having babies again and that's really all i care about because i need future workers damn it that's what i need I need future workers to come through and toil their lives away to build my beautiful beautiful magpie ton. Um, we're into early winter already. Yeah, so we're definitely going to be going for more than just one game year in this video. I think the reason the first year took so long was because I kept pausing to explain stuff. But uh, I'm just letting the game run now because, I mean, they're fine. They're looking after themselves. How's this house coming along? They've removed one tiny tree. Marvellous. Who's working on this? Gisela. Haven't seen anything from her in a while. Oh, that's because she's only just grown up. That's why that is. She was a child. Um, and who else? Callus. Callus and Gisela are working on this together. Are they mother and daughter? Hang on a minute, let me check. Where was Callus again? Callus was there. Yes, they are mother and daughter. They are mother and daughter building a house together. Isn't that beautiful? That's lovely, that is. Um, although I think Gisela... Gisela's 10 and Callus is 21. Yeah, because Gisela was one of the children who is already here, wasn't she? She wasn't born here. So maybe they're actually sisters. That's probably more likely, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of difficult to work out how people are related to each other in Banished just because it's also kind of weird. But, um, you know, we're going to say they're probably sisters. Yeah, Callus and Gisela. I'm going to call them sisters. They're sisters building a house together. That is wonderful, that is. And they've felled a tree. So they've removed... They just need to remove the little twig now. It's just a little twig that you need to remove there. Who's that? Is that a child? That's Lania, who is seven. And uh, she was born here, and you can tell that because she's not educated. Because all of the, the yeah, at the beginning, wait, I'm just thinking, are the children, I don't think, when you first start, the children 
aren't educated, but all of the adults are. So yes, you can tell the ones who were adults <clears throat> at the beginning and the ones that were children. But Lania was actually born here, wasn't she? Or Lena. Lena? I think that's Lena, not Lania. Lena, yes. Um, Lena was born here, wasn't she? I remember that. And who are you for a child? You're Jace... JC? JC? I'm going to go with JC. She was not born here. Uh, something's full up. Storage for logs, stone and iron is near capacity. Mm. I can't hear any, any of the sound effects because I've got my headphones off. Um, yeah, so I can hear myself talk. Also, I actually find like the ambient noise in Banished a bit irritating. It's got nice music and stuff. But the ambient noise and stuff, I just find it kind of, I don't know, irritating. I'm usually listening to like an audio drama or a radio show or something like that when I'm playing Banished. Because um, I do like an audio drama. I'm a big fan of Big Finish, who do all the Doctor Who audio dramas. And they have like... Okay, if you're a Doctor Who fan, Big Finish must have well over two or three thousand Doctor Who stories at this point. Um, and they have like every British actor, like just name a British actor and they'll have been in a Big Finish production. I don't care who it is. Celia Imri has been in ones. Um, who else? Linda Bellingham when she was still alive, obviously. Um, Nicola Walker. Uh, Miranda Raisin, who voices Cassandra in the um, Dragon Age games. Um, and also played a really kick-ass sort of warrior queen type person in an episode of Merlin. And I loved her character. She was brilliant and she got killed and I'm still annoyed about it even now. And when the fuck did Merlin come out? Like fucking 10 years ago, probably more actually. Oh god, that makes me feel old. <laughs> oh god, when did Merlin come out? How old was I when Merlin? I think I was still in school when Merlin first came out. Oh dear. Anyway, yes, but like, yeah, name an name an actor, name a British actor, and they've probably been in a big Finnish production. Name a sci-fi actor, and they've probably been in a big Finnish production. Like um, Chase Masterson, she's been in. She plays Vienna in one of the Doctor Who spin-off series, and that's another thing. Big Finnish will do a spin-off series for like anything. So they've got a series which I adore called um, Countermeasures. And it takes three characters who turned up in one episode of Doctor Who back in the 80s and it was Remembrance of the Daleks? Yeah. Um, and it takes those three characters and gives them an entire spin-off. They turned up in one episode. Jago and Lightfoot are two characters who turned up in one of Dom Tom Baker's uh, episodes the talons of wang chiang wang 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 chiang something like that um talons most people just call it they have an entire spin-off series and it's like fucking 12 box sets or something like that an entire series of, for two characters who turned up in one episode the paternoster gang Vastra and jenny they've got a spin-off series now unit with kate and osgood has a spin-off series and it's amazing because it's got kate and osgood in it um leela and romana have their own spin-off series called Gallifrey and it is the best thing ever. I adore Gallifrey. And it's like Leela and Romana are two of my, it's, it's the second incarnation of Romana, Lala Wards. And she's like, wait, Leela is my favorite Doctor Who companion of all time. Romana comes a kind of, wait, no, she doesn't come a close second. She's in the top 10 and they never met on screen. But um, in this audio series, Romana is the president of Gallifrey. And Leela is her bodyguard. And if you know anything about Romana and Leela, you're already sitting there going, oh my god, that is amazing. Because, yes. And it's brilliant because they're like complete opposites. <coughs> Romana is all calm and intelligent and she's all about science and reasoning. And, you know, she's a Time Lord, so she's incredibly clever. And she's like, even by Time Lord standards, incredibly clever. She's probably cleverer than the Doctor, to be honest. Let's face it. And then you've got Leela, who's like a savage who relies on instinct and always carries a knife with her and and sort of and you know I mean if you know Leela then you know you I can't really explain Leela can you Leela is something that has to be experienced um but yeah and they 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 so she is Romana's bodyguard but they're also best friends and but it's a weird kind it's a weird dynamic and it, it's a it's a difficult friendship because they're so different but at the same time Romana who is president of Gallifrey and she's trying to like change a lot of things about Gallifrey 
make them less xenophobic and stuff because this is obviously before the time war and um <clears throat> a lot of the time lords are against her so she has lots of enemies and Layla is basically the only person in the whole universe that she trusts but she's also the only alien who is on Gallifrey and, and all of the other Time Lords really look down on her and they call her Romana's savage pet and Romana's stupid savage and your stupid pet human and all of this kind of stuff. And they keep saying all of these things about, oh, she's just a stupid savage. That stupid savage pet of yours, Romana, and all of that kind of stuff. But Leela is the only one Romana actually trusts. So Leela, you've got Romana who has all of these like political enemies because she's trying to change Gallifrey. And she's trying to hold down her position as president. And then you've got Leela living on a planet where literally every Time Lord on it despises her apart from Romana. And all they've really got is each other. And it's it's weird, but it's really good. Um, and now they've gone, they've gone into the Time War now, haven't they? I haven't um, listened to any of some of the more recent ones. Uh, but like the original series that came out about fucking 15 years ago now or something um, was really good and then they did a little comeback series which was really good and now they've moved into the time war and Ace has joined up Ace is in like fucking um, the Time Lord Academy thing on Gallifrey learning to be a Time Lord or something like that I haven't listened to the new ones but uh, yeah I think they've moved into the time war but I think they've split Leela and Romana up. I think they sent Leela off world or something and Leela and Romana aren't together anymore. So I'm not really that interested in listening to them, to be honest. Um, this is something that a lot of writers do and it really bothers me. When you have a core relationship between two characters, which is like central to the entire story and the entire theme of something, don't split them up. Don't do that because your audience loses interest. It's like the, the friendship between Leela and Romana was one of the core aspects of the whole Gallifrey series. Don't fucking send them off to different ends of the universe. Keep them together. You know? Um, anyway, I have completely gone off on a tangent there. Yes, my entire point behind this is Big Finish is really, really good and I have spent a lot of my money over the years on their audio dramas and that tends to be what I'm listening to when I'm playing Banished. So there we go. Beneath Summerfield, she has her own series. She is my probably second favourite companion of all time. Never has appeared in the, on the TV series, ever. She appeared in the books in the New Adventures that they, that came out after the series was cancelled back in the 80s. And they, they did the New Adventures books, um, which are brilliant. Um, I've not read all of them because they're out of print. And most of them you can pick up on eBay for like three pence each, but some of them are ridiculously expensive. They go for like 300 quid or something like that. Um, so I've not read all of them, but I used to have quite a few of them. Um, I sold all of them though, I don't have any anymore, but I've read quite a few of them and they are very, very good. I love the new adventures books and Benny was, um, Professor Benny Summerfield or just Benny. Benny was, um, was the companion in that and then Big Finish gave her her own series and cast Lisa Bowerman as her, who is wonderful and who I adore very much and I love the Benny Summerfield series. Um... Although I, 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 I never listened to the original. I don't I haven't listened to the original Beneath Summerfield series. Um, but I listened to the new box sets when they came out with Ruth and Jack. And that was another thing where Benny and Ruth were a really good duo and then they kind of split them up. And then they just sent Benny off like to a different parallel universe or something in the new series. And like Ruth just isn't... I and mean, we never found out what happened to Ruth. But for a while, Benny and Ruth, it was like the Doctor and the Companion, and Benny was the Doctor and Ruth was the Companion. But Benny and Ruth, it was brilliant. They did like five box sets that encompassed this whole story. And it started off in the first one with Benny on her own, where she meets Ruth. And then they had one where it was just Benny and Ruth. And then um, the next one was like um, where they met up with Jack and Peter. Um, and Braxiatel and become like a group. This means nothing to anyone who hasn't heard it. I'm just talking, you know, just, just, it's fine. Just listen. Um, <clears throat> and they became like a group. But yes, the box set with just Benny and Ruth was the best one. They should have done more of them. They should have done Benny and Ruth going off exploring the galaxy together or something because it was brilliant. They had one where they had to disguise themselves as nuns. And it's one of those things where it's just my, it's so funny and light-hearted and like tongue-in-cheek just sort of ridiculous and so nice to listen to it's like a comfort blanket and I, I've listened to it so many times honestly because if I'm just like if I'm gonna sit down and play something like Banished 
and I just want to chill out for a bit. You know, I just want to have a bit of a chill evening. I'm just like, oh, I'm, I just want to listen to something. And it, I almost always go to that one. It's called Bad Habits. And uh, yeah, it, they, they disguise themselves as, as nuns, but not normal nuns, space nuns. Space nuns who are traveling in space and they have to disguise themselves as nuns. And honestly, it is hilarious. It is, it is my absolute favorite thing. And it is the kind of thing I just listen to <clears throat> just to like relax. Um, it's a, it's such a good audio series, but annoyingly, I had all of them downloaded on a um, memory card because I, I bought most of them through the Big Finish website, but some of them I bought through eBay. And the ones I've bought through the Big Finish website, I've, I can download them from Big Finish, so that's fine. But the rest I had on a little memory card that was in my phone, and now it is not in my phone, and I cannot for the life of me think why I would have taken it out of my phone, or where the hell I would have put it. I just have absolutely no idea. So I've lost some of my Big Finish stuff, and I think the Benny series might be one of them, actually. I can't remember which, where I bought that from. <sighs> anyway, never mind. Have they built that fucking house yet? Oh my god, you haven't even removed that twig! I've been talking about fucking Big Finish, and you haven't... Mind you, I did have the game pause, didn't I? That's probably why. Okay, I'll let you off. <laughs> I'll let you off, little villagers. Um, I was going to stop talking about things that you don't care about now. We'll get back to the game. There's Rich, the mysterious child. Hmm, who is your father, Rich? And there's Valerie. I don't I don't care that you put an L at the end. I'm calling her Valerie, all right? Nobody else has had any children, have they? Of course, what'll be really suspicious will be if Ty Lord has a child. That'll be like... Yeah, that'll be fucking suspicious, that will. But yeah, the whole Diamona and Rich situation. Hmm... Who is Rich's father? Are Rich and Talonza brothers? Or are they half-brothers? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. We may never know. And when I say we may never know, I mean we will actually never know. But um, <laughs> I can dream it up in my head. Oh, they've almost cleared all of this stone. They've cleared all of the iron. <clears throat> they've almost cleared all of the stone. So whoever our forester is, it's still Diamona. She's going to have a fun time planting all of those trees because we've got plenty of logs. Um, we don't need any new logs for now. And the fucking storage capacity is full, isn't it? I need a new storage area, but... There isn't really a convenient place to put it, because the thing is, we will start to get through this stuff eventually. So I don't really want to build another storage area needlessly. Hmm. Maybe think on it a little bit. Oh, I'll tell you another really good Big Finish series. I will stop talking about Big Finish in a minute. But another really good one is, um... <coughs> It's with the eighth doctor, so it's Paul McGann's doctor. And it starts with Dark Eyes, um, which won awards and everything. I think it won like a BAFTA or something. It might not have been a BAFTA, but it, I mean, like, it was definitely like it made the news. Because um, it, it, it won awards. And I listened to it the first time and thought, it's not really that good. <laughs> like, I didn't really get into it much. But that was just the first box set, but it was a series of four box sets. Uh, but something's full. Is that just the storage capacity? Yeah. Um... Uh, and when you listen right through to the end, it's really good. Um, and then it, there was a follow-up which was called... Oh, I can't remember now. There was Dark Eyes, there's Doom Coalition. But I'm sure there was something in between Dark Eyes and Doom Coalition. And then is there another one as well that we're on to now? I can't remember. I've got all of them. But I know it started off with Dark Eyes, and it, it's the Eighth Doctor, and he's on his own, and then he picks up a companion, and I can't remember what her bloody name was, but she's Irish. Is it... I can't fucking remember. Is it Molly? Might be Molly. It's, I mean, she's got a very Irish name, it's like Molly O'Connor or something like that. It's something like that. But uh, she's a nurse in World War One. She's she's really cool. I really like her. She's proper sort of kick-ass. Like, I mean, she, she just doesn't take any nonsense. She just sort of... She, there's no kind of... She's not one of those companions who walks into the TARDIS and goes, Oh my god, it's bigger on the inside. She just, like, doesn't take any nonsense at all and isn't impressed by anything. And she's wonderful. And then he picks up Liv Chenka, who is from the 52nd century or something like that. And she's a med tech in... in like it's like post Dalek Wars 
so she's like really badly affected by the Dalek Wars. Um, <clears throat> and uh, she's played by Nicola Walker, who is in literally every single show that you will ever watch on the telly. I swear to God, that woman is in everything. You cannot watch anything on British telly without seeing Nicola Walker, honestly. She's just, she's in everything, isn't she? But, um, yeah, so that's Livchenko, played by Nicola Walker. And then they lose Molly along the way. I won't say what happens, but they lose Molly along the way. If it was Molly, is her name Molly? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and then they pick up um, Helen, Helen Sinclair, who is played by Hattie Morahan. So you see, they do have pretty big names that end up in big Finnish dramas. Nicola Walker and Artie Morahan. Um, and, and she's a um, historian from the 1960s. So you've got a med tech from like the, I think it's the 52nd century. And a historian from the 1960s traveling with the doctor. And they are the best pair. Honestly, they're so much fun together. Um, and They've had... I'm trying to think, because it started off with Dark Eyes. And then there was Doom Coalition. And then at the minute we're on something, because they're trapped on Earth. They're trapped on Earth and they don't have a TARDIS. And they're trying to, like, live normal lives. And it's it's kind of hilarious, actually. Um, but I'm sure there was another book set in the middle called something else. But I can't remember what it was. Oh, I don't know. It's a really brilliant series anyway, honestly. It starts with Dark Eyes and follows through to other ones and Doom Coalition is one of them and I can't for the life of me think what the other ones are called. But anyway, yeah, it's brilliant with them, um, with Liv and Molly to begin with and then Liv and Helen. <laughs> it's really good. But come on, I mean, flipping Nicola Walker and Hattie Morahan. It's a brilliant pairing, that is. Anyway, I'm, I am finally going to stop talking about Big Finish, I promise. Right, we've moved into early spring. We have now been here... For two years, we are on our third year. We have 18 adults and five children. So we've had quite a few people grow up. We've got four labourers, two builders. Have they built that fucking house yet? No, nearly. Nearly. They've nearly built that house. Um, Ty Lord's still living on his own because he's a loser. <laughs> um, we have any more children be born? I don't think we have. No. Mysterious Rich. Mysterious Rich. Who is your father, Rich? And we've got Diamona still planting trees, is she? Yes. Diamona is still planting trees for her. But we don't need the forester to be functioning as a forester just yet. I'm concerned about how little stone we've got. Although, that's the stone that's stored in the storage place. They are having to store some stone just beside the storage place because the storage place isn't big enough. So, you know. Um... We've come out of winter with 223 firewood. Like, we didn't need... We, we, we didn't need a, a, a fucking woodcutter all through uh, all through winter. Eleanor is our woodcutter. Good old Eleanor. Currently working as a labourer because we've got too much firewood and not enough storage place. We're doing better than we should be. Like, we're almost doing too well. I think these mods that I've got installed to make the game easier are maybe making it a bit too easy. <laughs> um... <coughs> I don't know whether to build another storage place or not. Because eventually we will start actually using this stuff. And then we won't need the extra storage space. We're down to seven coats. And seven tools. We might actually want to start thinking about building the blacksmiths. Um, we're going to unpause that. And unpause that. And unpause that. And we're going to get ourselves two more builders. Because the labourers aren't doing much now. Um, have they cleared all of that stone? Oh, they've cleared all of that stone. The labourers aren't doing anything then, really. So we can have six out of seven builders. We're going to build all of this stuff. Um, oh, the house is built. Who's moved into it? So Irvine and Gisela. Irvine's 16, Gisela's 11. Yeah, okay. I mean, that's a bit... That's a, a bit suspect, isn't it? But, you know... I feel bad for saying this, but I really want you to start having babies, you two. I know she's only 11, but, you know, I just... I need future workers, all right? I'm trying to future-proof the village. And frankly, your parents were probably even younger than that when they had you, knowing this game. <laughs> I don't know who their parents were. Gisela was... Oh, Gisela was Callus's sister that we decided, wasn't it? Yeah. Decided that Gisela was Callus's sister. 
um, because it was not feasible that Callus could have been her mother, like, even slightly. Um, <coughs> I don't know who Irvine was. He lived over here, didn't he? Is this where Irvine lived? I'm not sure. I think... Which house looks... It must have been... Was it here he lived? I can't remember how many lived in this house before, but... Uh, oh, well, never mind. How are we doing on food? Like, what sort of variety of food? Oh, we've got a lot of berries from our gatherers. And onions, and we've got 35 herbs now. Although health is not going up. But it hopefully will in time. Um, get these built with... Get some better clothes. How much wool have we got? We've got 18 wool, so we'll be able to make some nice warm coats so everybody can have nice coats. Storage capacity is full. Yes, I know, I know. I just, I don't want to build another storage place because, I mean, frankly, they make the village look ugly. I'll be honest with you. Storage places make the village look ugly. I could maybe put a little thin one, like, behind the barn just to tide us over for a brief period of time. I mean, once they've finished, I mean, they've finished clearing this area, haven't they? So there's not going to be that much to go in it. We're just going to be using stuff. So... Oh, I don't know. I don't know, man, guys. <laughs> yeah, because once these are built, we're going to be using... Iron and wood to make tools. And we're going to be using... Oh, we're going to be using leather to make uh, clothes, aren't we? So yeah, we'll be using some of the iron at least to make some tools. Um, and later on in the game, when we get a mine, we'll be able to mine coal. And if you combine coal and iron, you make steel. I'm not sure whether that actually makes sense in the real world. Um, but in, in, in the world of Banished, if you combine um, iron and coal, you make steel. And then you can make steel tools. And they're better than iron tools. What's Tylor doing these days? Is he still a hunter? No, he's a builder now. I feel like that's a step down from being a hunter. Just saying. I mean, I know he's been fired from building jobs twice now before the building was completed. Because, you know. <laughs> but, uh, what she oh, she's a builder as well. Diamona. Diamona's stopped planting trees for a short while to become a builder. Maybe they have rekindled things, guys. Maybe they're back working together. I mean, he's still living over here, being a bit of a, a waster and a bit of a loner. But may maybe, I mean, you know, they, they've decided they want to work together again. Who knows? Who's our forester then? Gisela! Oh, lovely Gisela. Oh, our forester is actually living in the forester's hut then. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's... Oh, Irvine's the herbalist. Oh, that's brilliant. The herbalist is actually living in, like, the house behind the herbalist's hut. And then she's the forester. Oh, that's so cool, guys. They can be our little forest couple. Oh, with him as the herbalist and her as the forester. That's actually perfect. Oh, I love it when things work out like that. We do not have very much stone at all, do we? There isn't much stone to actually sort of mine around. I mean, there's quite a bit of stone around here, but that's a bit of a ways away. There's some stone over here, but it's mostly iron, and I don't need iron. Like, I've got nought to use it for yet. Except making tools, but I need stone. I might have to build a quarry. The trouble is, quarries, you need, like, fucking 12 people working in it before it'll start bringing in anything noticeable. Um... We're down to, we only need four builders now. What have we managed to build? We've managed to build the tailors. There's absolutely no point in having a tailor yet because we don't have any leather because we need the tannery first. Um, down to four tools. We definitely need that blacksmith. I thought we would need the tailor before the blacksmith, but apparently not. Right, we can get a tanner who is going to make leather out of wild animal skin. So uh, where's my fucking thing? There we go. We'll get a tanner. Who's our tanner? Who's been assigned as our tanner? Brennett! 18 year old Brennett is our tanner. That's lovely. And then we can have a tailor who's not going to be able to do anything yet, but in preparation. Where's the tailor? Tailor, tailor, tailor. Tinker, tailor, soldier, spy. Who is our tailor? Hady! 13 year old Hady is our uh, tailor. Marvellous. Are you still a builder? Yes, you are. Are you still a builder? Yes! Taylor and Diamona are still working together, guys. They're working together to build the uh, the blacksmiths. How fascinating. Is that Taylor there? No, that's Messica. Oh, hang on a minute. We, uh... Yeah, 
Taylord is building though, but Diamona isn't. So let's take those off. Is Diamona now gonna be a laborer? Oh Diamona's a laborer, guys! Oh I don't like that! She's a laborer and Taylord's a builder. Oh I'm not keen on that. Flippin' egg woman, get yourself a job! <laughs> You've, you've always been, you know, like the successful one compared to him. Jesus, go back to being a hunter. You were good at that. Um, um, yeah, how's the food situation? Oh, the food situation is ridiculously fine. Okay. That's got a thing above it because it needs leather to make hide coats, but we currently don't have any leather because we're waiting on the tannery to produce leather from animal skins. So that's why that's got that above it because it needs leather, but we don't have any yet. Um, but that's fine. Um, I'm just going to extend that path out a little bit. So, so it actually goes to the door. Um, actually, maybe make it go around like that. There we go. Maybe, like, nip around there. I'm just trying to make it look pretty, guys. I just want it to look pretty. <coughs> and once this stuff is built, we need to start thinking about what we're going to prioritise next. Because... If we had more stone, I would build a cemetery, just a little one, like just in case somebody dies and we need a little cemetery, but we, we don't have much stone. I mean, there's some stone here that we can mine. I might tell them to clear that stone. Um, where's my thing? Collect stone. Yeah, we'll get some of this stone. Although there's not much, but we'll collect what's there. Um, and there's some stone over there as well, so we'll get some of it. Because we just don't have much and we need it for building stuff. Whereas we don't really need iron yet. Um, I mean, okay, we've needed some iron to build this stuff. But we need stone more desperately because we need stone to build houses. Um, who's manning our fields? Eleanor! I I've, I've bloody knew it, love. I bloody knew it. Who's our woodcutter then? Is that... Arlyle! Eleanor and Arlyle, man! They're just the power couple of the village. They just keep the thing running. They just keep switching their jobs around and stuff. But I mean, they're always they're always doing something important, our Eleanor and our Lyle. Good workers, those two. And now we need a blacksmith. So yes, the blacksmith is going to use logs and iron to make iron tools. And if we had coal, they could use logs, iron and coal to make steel tools, but they can't. So we go log and iron. And then we need a, t uh, uh, not Taylor, the other one, blacksmith. Who's our blacksmith? Jace or JC or J yeah. I went with JC, didn't we? Yeah, JC, 11 year old JC. 11 year old JC is our blacksmith. Marvelous. Power to you, girl. Power to you. Um, who's our tailor again? Oh, Diamona has become the tailor. She's got herself a job. She's got herself a job. I knew she wouldn't be out of work for long. What's Taylor doing? He's still a builder. We don't need builders anymore. He's gone back to being a laborer. Good. Everything is, is as it should be. All is right with the world again. Taylord is a builder. Uh, nobody's had any children yet, have they? No. Um, Giselle is 12 now. Wait, wait a couple of years so it's a bit less uh, dodgy. Um, <laughs> nobody else has had any children, have they? No. I mean, I could do with you having some more children because I've not got many to come through, really. Do with some more kids, guys. I need a bit more rapid expansion here. We're down to three labourers, which actually isn't bad for at this point in the game, to be honest with you. We did start off with 18, though, didn't we? Started off with 18 people, which, um, you know, is quite a good, good starting point. Because uh, sometimes, even on medium difficulty, you can end up starting with like 12 or 13 or something, which isn't quite as good. Right, so for the moment, we are fine. We are absolutely fine. We've got our little foresty area and we're building up the forest. We've taken away all the stone and the iron. We've got plenty in the way of wood. Although we will need to start bringing some more wood in soon, because that was at 500 not too long ago. So we don't want to get too complacent on the wood food, uh, front. Food is fucking ridiculous. We have got plenty. And if it starts to become a problem, we can put more people in the gatherer's hut or the fisherman such. So, yeah, the minute food is just ridiculously fine. In fact, we could probably get rid of a hunter. Actually, no, because we need the hunters for animal skins, which we're going to need for making um, coats and stuff. I mean, we've only got nine animal skins in there. And there's five in there. Have you actually made any yet? Oh, he's made 18 leather. That's not bad. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want you to make warm coat, not hide coat. <sighs> Glad I caught that in time. Um, that's Diamona who's doing that, isn't it? Yeah, I want you to make warm coats. So she's going to combine leather and wool to make warm coats. Um, there wasn't another option there, wasn't there? So, all right, she can make... 
Uh, a hide coat out of leather, a wool coat out of wool, or a warm coat out of leather and wool. So we'll, we'll do that until we run out of wool. Um, got plenty of wool, and more wool will be coming in as the hunters are killing more sheep. <coughs> if you're farming sheep, obviously, you'll make more wool. Um, because, you know, the, the sheep are, are staying alive and growing the wool back. That's just what they've got from the sheep that they've hunted. But in order to farm sheep or cows or chicken, you have to buy them off the trader. You can't just tame wild ones. Um, and we are ways away from building a trading port. This has got, we've got other things we need to build first. I need to find a reliable source of stone. That's what I need, because I'm going to need stone to build things. And I just don't have enough like there just isn't enough stone in the world there's stone over here that we can go and get but it's quite far away um there's some stone there that i can collect but i mean there's no point in me building a quarry yet because i just don't have the people to man it so to be honest i'm kind of struggling for what i should build next really i mean i know i want to expand the village out here but to do that i need stone i mean aside from i mean i could just send my laborers out over here all the way over here to collect stone. What could we build? What have we got? I mean, we could build more houses, but we don't need them. Stockpiles and stuff. Uh, that's a well. That is for in case a fire breaks out. We don't need one of them yet. That would be a waste of stone because that takes a lot of stone. Yeah, 40 stone. No point in building a library. We don't want a schoolhouse yet because I don't have enough people. <laughs> um... I, uh, I want my children to be working as quickly as possible. I don't want them to go wasting their time getting an education or anything silly like that. I need them working, damn it. Um, a hospital, we don't need that yet. A town hall, we don't need yet. And that's fucking 124 stones, so we don't need that yet. We don't need a chapel yet. That's 130. A cemetery is one stone per unit of length. I mean, we could build a little one just in case somebody dies. Because I know... I know from past experience that if somebody dies and there isn't a cemetery to bury them in, like the entire village just goes into mass depression for the next 20 years or something like that, which is a bit ridiculous. We don't need any more food production yet. What else is there? A woodcutters we've already got, foresters we've already got, herbalist, blacksmith, tailor, tanner, tavern, we don't need one of them, mine quarry. So, really, I'm just stuck here waiting for them to have children and to expand before anything can happen, really. It's all just kind of ticking along on its own quite nicely. This is where normally I would like, you know, go off and do something else. I'd be sitting here reading a book or something, or writing a book, or doing whatever it is that I do. What do I do? I don't know what I do. But uh, yeah, and I'm just like, let this run in the background. Oh wait, we've gone up to eight children. Some people have had children, because we were at five before. They've been, what, three more children born? As oh fuck off, Azariah, Azariah, Azariah has been born to Mesica and Callus. Azariah is not a bad name actually. Azariah, I quite like that. Um, nobody there. It's it's the fucking twelve year old up there who's had a kid, isn't it? I I just know it. Um, Magdalena Tyne, Magdalena Tyne, Mag Magdalentine, Magdalentine. Arlyle and Eleanor have had Magdalentine. And because you are my favourite power couple of the village, Arlyle and Eleanor, I am not going to judge you for that name. But you know something? She will. She will judge you for her entire life for calling her that fucking stupid name. <laughs> Magdalentine. Maggie. We're going to go with Maggie. I think that's what we're going to call her. And then please tell me that Ty Lord hasn't picked up a child from somewhere. Because that would just be fucking awkward. No, he hasn't. That means that we've got a 12-year-old Gisella has had Ralpha. Ralpha. Most of these names are just like a normal name with another letter added on the end. <laughs> or another few letters added on the end to make them sound kind of, ooh, oldie worldy or something, yes. But yes, 12 year old Gisella has had Ralpha. And Irvine is 18. Like fucking hell game, why do you do this to me? I mean, come on, that's just, that's not right, man. <sighs> anyway, yes, so. Another boy! Again, we are having far too many boys be born. I need some girls. I need, you know, we need we need kids. We're trying to pre future-proof the village here. Although, Azariah is a girl. And, um, what's the other one? Maggie. Yes, I'm not fucking saying that name again. Maggie is a girl. So, 
yeah, we'll be all right in the future. Um, and then, oh, God, some more people have grown up. We've now got six labourers. Oh, wow. Six fucking labourers. Jesus Christ. Don't know what to do with them. Could send them over here to collect stone, probably. I might actually do that. Might send them over there to collect stone. Um, although, we don't really have the storage space, do we? That's a bit of a problem. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put another little storage area around the back over here, because I think it'll look all right there. Um, have a little storage area like there-ish. And it's closer to all of this stone over here. And I'm going to... I mean, that stone's not too far away. So I'm going to make them collect the stone in that little area there. Make them collect all of that stone. Is there any a bit closer? Oh, there's a bit, but there's not fucking much, is there? And then... Actually, I tell you what, I'll just make them collect all of that. All of that stone can be collected because we're going to need it to build stuff. <coughs> um, and we've got a bit of extra storage space. At some point this Foresters is going to need to start making logs because we're going to get low. Um, and it'll, it'll happen quickly. It'll just completely sneak up on us. Like, we'll be fine and then it's like, there's no wood. That's what it'll be like because we're not chopping down trees at the minute. I might put some more Foresters since we've got people to spare. Uh, I'll make some more people foresters. We'll have three foresters planting trees. And then we can make them start cutting them down again. Because the forest is filling up, but slowly. I mean, we can see these little trees that have been planted. But it's slow progress because we've only had one forester. So, what's Tylord doing these days? Oh, Tylord's the tanner. Wait, is she still the tailor? Oh, my God. I think I think Tylord might be Rich's dad, you know. Because Diabona and Tylord are now literally working together. He is the tanner who is making the leather that she needs to make the coats. They are actually having, they're in a working relationship right now. They literally work opposite each other. They have gone from not wanting to work together. I mean, she went to be a hunter just to get away from him back when he was a laborer and the laborers were clearing the resources down there. I mean, they were working on opposite sides of the village. Can't tell me that that wasn't deliberate. And now, now, all of a sudden, they have a proper working partnership going on here as the tailor and the tanner. Hmm, I think little three-year-old Rich might actually... Oh, hang on a minute. Talzona is the blacksmith. Fucking hell. <laughs> or Talonza. Talonza is the blacksmith at age 10. So, his dad works here, his mum works here, and he works here. <laughs> They've got a little family business going on. Is that her? That's Diamona as the tailor, yeah. And, uh, and fucking Taylor as the yeah as the tanner, yeah. I think I think there might be a reconciliation going on here, but he's still living over here on his own, um, with his stupid amount of food. Seven pumpkins. <laughs> Maybe he's redeeming himself. Maybe he's mellowing in his old age. I don't. Well, old age. How old is he? Thirty-one. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Who knows? Who knows what's going on there? But I'm sure it's the talk of the fucking village. Okay. I tell you what. I think I'm gonna do. Because right now we're just waiting for like children to be born and resources to come in. There's nothing I can really do. There's nothing I particularly need um, yet. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting for things to happen. We're just going to sit here and wait for things to take over. So what I think I might do is I might go and play some more like off screen while nothing interesting is happening. And next time... We'll see where we are. The village might have expanded a bit. I'll do a bit. I won't. I won't do too much without you. All right. I'm not. I'm not leaving you out. I'm just going to do a bit of like the boring stuff off screen, and then next time we'll crack on and start expanding the village a little bit more. Where we'll, we'll maybe have a few more people. There might have been some developments in the whole Taylor Diet Dead Taylor Diamona situation. Yes. Yes, I won't, I won't play too much without you because I know you won't want to miss the exciting drama unfolding here. Um, but I might just, you know, wait for some of the stone to come in and uh, wait for some more children to be born and stuff like that. All of that boring stuff. Um, and then next time we'll start to expand the village over in this direction. Decide what we want to build next. Decide sort of what we want to do and where we want to go and see what happens. Might have to think about building a... Um... A trading port. Actually, I didn't think I would want to build one this early, but if there's now else going on, 
Maybe we could build a little bridge across and have a trading port here. Because if we've got traders turning up, then we can start to buy things like cattle and sheep and stuff like that. And we can have, like, proper farms with farm animals on. And we can buy more seeds um, to farm stuff with. And then we can, we, can, we can make a little farm area. Because you need to have a trading port on the river because the traders come in boats. So you have to have it on the river. Is this lake connected to the river? No, it's only connected to little rivers and they can't make it down the little rivers. I don't think. So we'd need it on this river. But yeah, we could build like a bridge across there and have a trading port here. I didn't think I would want to build a trading port this early, but I mean, I actually might. How much do you need to build a trading port? Um, 80 stone and 40... Oh no, is that 80? Oh yeah, 80 stone and 40 iron. So that would be a lot of our stone, but... Might be worth it. Okay, I will think on that. I will think on how on how we want to uh, proceed going forwards, and I might play a little bit off screen. Although I might not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But uh, anyway, in late summer on year three, I am going to leave you with this beautiful view of our beautiful little village as it unfolds, and I will see you again next week.